What's going on now? Second video. If you're fishing for brims in a dam or any type of spillway with running water, with running water, get your line. What you do is get your lead that you're going to use. This if you need a lead line. Run that line through that lead, the lead lead, right? Next thing you're gonna do, one of the one of the tricks, I guess you could say, may not even necessarily be a trick. You gotta have a bead. I don't know why they use orange, but I've been knowing people since day one, since I've been doing this, they've been using orange and it works. Don't ask me why, I don't know. You're gonna run that, that, that line through that bead. That's gonna catch right though. See how that works? The line, the lead, and then the bead. The lead, then the bead. Then they're gonna tie a swivel on. I'm gonna get a swivel, and I'm gonna show you real quick how you do that with a swivel. And this is like some people, that brim fish, I'm like, I'm like ducked off doing this right now. So you gotta excuse me. This is a swivel. Y'all probably seen that in the last video. And just tie a knot on, you know, don't matter how you tie it, you know, whatever your favorite knot is, you know. Boom. I'm gonna run that through there twice. Pull that tight. That swivel catches that at the bottom, right? Now, I'm gonna bite the end of that off, right? And that's just to clean it up. Put that down there. Then I'm going back to that lead line I was telling you about. Now I'm gonna tie the lead line on that. Once that lead line catch that, I'm gonna show you what it is, how you get them. Run that line through that swivel, two times back through the original hoop. See how fast that knot was? I'm gonna show you how to do that too. So I'm gonna go about, see the lead. I got this tied up, so you can't really see it. So see that lead? I'm gonna go right here because I just want y'all to see what I'm doing. And now what happens is, I'm gonna tie this hook on real quick so you have a understanding. Sometimes when you're fishing dams, and here go the knot right here. I done showed you before, if you've been paying attention. Run that line through the hook. Spin it around about six times, seven, eight, nine, how many you want. I just do it about six to seven. That hole right there, stick it back through that hole twice, that same hole twice. Fish that knot all day. Boom, there you go. That's your lead. Now what happens is, is when you in water that's running, that fish with your bait on the end of this, it's gonna be flying around in the water with that lead because that lead is gonna sit on the bottom. That lead sitting on that bottom, that fish can pull that line. Your lead is still in place, but you'll see that when it tighten up, that line is still loose than the lead. The fish really not gonna feel that lead, but they'll feel that pressure, but it's not like they pulling just the lead. You know what I mean? That's what flies around in the water right here. That much of line right here is gonna be flying around in that running water. So if you got a worm on there, it's just gonna be bouncing around in the water with the current. It's gonna be flowing with, uh, it's gonna look like it's uh, with the current, but it's really blowing back towards where the water, where the current is going out at. So if you got a shrimp or something on there, it's gonna might be looking like it's swimming. A cricket maybe looking like it's moving. A worm gonna be probably looking like it's moving. So that's what attracts the fish right there. That's how you catch fish in the dam. You gotta have that lead. Swivel in the hooks. There you go, one on one, baby. I showed you.